Alrighty. And a lot of questions as we go. So, uh, if everyone's ready, uh, Coach, we can start us off. Well, I, I knew we were going to have a close ball game um, with Arkansas State. Uh, you know, Tommy Raffo and his staff, they, they do a fantastic job. They always seem to be playing their best baseball at the end of the year, which is the mark of a very good coaching staff and, and kids that are committed to the program. So we knew we were going to have to get a great effort on the mound. We, we didn't want to, you know, we were a little bit sloppy early defensively, and, um, and I thought Tyler did a, did a fantastic job pitching through some mistakes from, you know, that his teammates made, a, a uncharacteristic uh, mistakes defensively because we we've done such a such a nice job defensively this year um, for our pitching staff and um, but, but I thought Tyler Tyler was uh, he, he had another gear today and um, that's a good hitting team and, and not they were hot and that makes them very very dangerous and they play very good defense and they have some older guys that have been around the block and um, you know you, you saw airs flashing some 95s out there we, we knew we couldn't we couldn't give much room um, you know, we, we could not, we couldn't let them get far ahead of us because they have some very capable guys. And um, so I, I, I was happy, you know, I'm happy with the results. We were a little bit sloppy with some of the smaller things. We, we popped some bunts up and, and give Arkansas State credit. They defended it, but um, we didn't do some of the little things right. But, um, you know, the game starts and stops on the mound. I've said it a thousand times to our guys. They're tired of hearing it. And um, if Tyler... If Tyler wasn't where he was at today, I, I don't think we're in here talking about the win. So um, it's a team, you know, this is a team thing, but I, I, I was really, really pleased with the way Tyler went out there and competed and made his pitches. And you know, he had the wind blowing out. They're a good fastball hitting team. And um, he, he kept him at bay until we kind of got into the game, which was, uh, you know, I was a little concerned. I, I thought we were, we're, I wouldn't say flat. I just did, you know, it was a little uncharacteristic in terms of executing. And, um, but, but Tyler settled some things down and, and, and uh, you know, we, we scored some runs and, and turned it over to Matt Peacock at the end and he did what he does. And, and that's, you know, be an older guy and go get outs for us. And um, so we're, we're pleased with the results. Tyler Carr goes six innings, uh, gives up five hits, strikes out five, improves to seven and one on the year. Uh, any questions? Tyler, uh, how important was it for you mentally, for you, for your team to get two runs early so that you weren't pitching, you know, from behind or at least at a stalemate early on? It's definitely a good feeling getting ahead um, early. Uh, pumps me up for sure and sends me out there with a good attitude. You know, you did give up, you gave up four walks. There were five hits in there as well, but you were able to strand two runners in at least three different innings. Walk me through your thought process as, you know, you're, Guys are getting on base, but you're able to pitch out of multiple difficult situations. Uh, the guys, uh, I tried to we pitch a little around the, the power hitters, but um, once they got on base, locked in, and uh, really threw, threw the best pitch and let the defense play behind me. Any other questions? Coach, with uh, was it 13 left on base, I think it was. During the game, I don't know if you're conscious of the, the, that, that count. But was that a concern as the game went along, more we loaded up the bases uh, and, and stranded runners out there? Yeah, it, it was a concern, but Tyler was throwing really well, so I wasn't quite as concerned. If I thought he was wavering, um, the runners left on base would have really concerned me. Uh, it is a concern, but, you know, Arkansas State had a little bit to do with that as well. You know, their, their second pitcher, that lefty, he's a freshman, he – he made some pitches. We had some guys on, and, and, and I, I thought we gave some at-bats away, but um, I, thought, I thought their freshman lefty did a really nice job, and then Ayers is an older guy, and he was up to 95. So we got some guys on, and, you know, some days you get guys on, and when they get their lead off out, it, it, it's hard when you only have two outs left. It's hard to get a big hit, and, um, you know, their guys made some pitches, and, and, and we didn't execute like we should have offensively. And, but like I said earlier, Arkansas State, uh, their pitching staff and defense had a lot to do with that. So you tip your hat to them, and – um, but, but our guys kept working. You got 27 outs, and, and, and we're going to use all 27, and, and you got to play all 27 to beat us. And, and our guys know that. If you're not great early, and um, they know. You don't just get one at bat for that game. It's just that at bat that you didn't get it done. You've got, you've got several others, or you have one more at bat. Um, or if you don't, your teammates do. And our kids understand that. If they don't look good for three at bats, they know they have a fourth at bat, and they'll be ready to go. So um, our 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 guys just played to the end, and that's that's what it took today. You know, you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to leave some guys on. Travis Swaggerty isn't always going to go three for four. Dylan Hardy isn't going to hit two home runs, and Donovan, and you know, um, but we had some guys that that came up big with with single RBIs today, and uh, and that was enough. Any other questions for Tyler? Oh, we appreciate it. 
Question, questions for Coach. Coach, when you put Matt Peacock in, was it your intention to let him finish out the game, or did that just the flow dictate it? Yeah. Well, what, for the mo once he's in, I'm leaving him in. Um, he hasn't pitched since last week. You know, he had a he had a bit of a blister, and, and, and really the rain helped us with him too. You know, I, I was going to give him a couple days. Last week he had a blister on his finger, but it's cleared up, and, and you saw it today. He was he was really good. He had some velocity. His his breaking ball was good. So, um, yeah, when when Matt goes in there, I, I don't have Matt in when we're up by five or six. You know, Matt's in there when when I feel like he's the guy in the, in the when, when we have nine outs to get somewhere at that point, somewhere in that you know at that point in the game. Um, Matt's going to be there. Now, had we opened it up, had we scored five or six, I, I had another reliever down there ready and maybe saved Matt, you know, ten pitches. But, um, you know, what, once you have your guy out there, it's it's pretty much my my line of thought that you leave him out there and you finish it, and, and, and that's your guy. You don't want to, you know, you start feeling good about yourself and you let your guard down, and um, Arkansas State, they play hard too. You know, you let your guard down and, and you take your guy out and you're trying to get too cute, um, and it bites you. So, um, you know, we have to win this game, and I know we have tomorrow, but there was no guarantee when Matt was out there that we were going to win that ball game until the game was over. It was right to the end. Um, so, yeah, that was my intention unless we really, really had a big inning, um, which, which didn't happen. So uh, we, we stayed with Matt. He was efficient with his pitches. It's not like he threw 45 pitches to finish the ball game, and um, he'll be ready for an inning or two tomorrow if we need him. Coach, every guy in your lineup had a hit today. Does that sort of embody what your, your team's about? It does. You know, we want to line up. It's, it's not just, you know, there are some teams where, you know, one through four can get you. And once you get past the four hole or five hole, six, seven, eight, nine, there, there's a break. Um, you know, we want to be an offense that's balanced. You know, we want to, we want to have some guys that with some power and, um, and we want to have some guys that can run and bunt. And, um, and then we, we, we don't want seven, eight, nine just to be a place where you're, that's it, not a place where your worst hitters are at. You know, we had Jared Barnes was in our eight hole with 13, 14 home runs until he broke his finger. And Will Luft, those kids, you know, Hunter Stokes is around 300. Um, you know, Will Luft is 280, 300, and, he, and he's got some doubles and a couple home runs. So, um, and, and then we, then they turn it back over to Hardy at the top of the order. So, you know, when we're going good, there really isn't an easy out in the lineup and, and that's you know that's how you want it. you ask any coach they, they don't want an easy out in their lineup at all um and, and we've got some older guys and guys that have been around the block and they've had a lot of playing time both last year and this year so our, our lineup is balanced and um yeah it, it was good that uh, you know everybody had a had a hit and i think we had four single rbis today from four different guys um and uh, you know, different than yesterday, we had a couple guys with three RBIs, and you know, the two, three, and four, one, one through four RBIs. That was it. Uh, it was spread out a little bit, and um, you know, but but th those kids have done a fantastic job. They understand their roles. They understand what they have to do, and um, they understand whether they're hitting the nine hole or the four hole. They have a job to do, and um, I was proud of them today. Uh, you look at a guy like Carter Perkins. He's not an everyday starter during the regular season, but he comes in, goes two for four, gets a crucial RBI, and then absorbs that big hit at home plate. How encouraging was it for you to see a guy like that step up in such a momentous game like this one? Well, it's really big. If, if you know Carter, Carter's like the team favorite. You know, Carter's, Carter, Carter's tough as nails. Carter, you know, in a lot of programs, he would start for a lot of programs in this country. Um, Jared Barnes in his junior year has had a fantastic year and we've been down to two catchers. Um, I've been concerned, you know, Carter was our DH. Carter's a very capable bat as you saw today. His numbers don't indicate it, but he's had some days like that where he's hit four balls on the nose and doesn't have a whole lot to show for it. Um, but, but Carter Perkins could start for a lot of D division one programs in this country. Um, and, and he'll, he'll eventually get his shot. So, but we have a lot of faith in, in what Carter's doing. Um, he stepped in big for Jared Barnes, who broke his finger and won't be with us for another couple of weeks. Hopefully, we're still playing. That's the plan. Um, but as of right now, uh, Carter's our guy, and, and you know, myself, our coaching staff, and the pitchers couldn't be more confident in uh, in the type of catcher that he is. You know, some kids they, uh, you know, when when they're not playing and they're waiting, they whine and they moan. Carter Perkins, when he's been waiting, he's been working. You know, he's been down there working, catching pitchers. Uh, on Wednesdays when we don't play, he's catching live bullpens with, with hitters, and he'll give up some at-bats to catch guys live. And um, So he was sharp when he came in. Uh, you know, he wasn't game-ready like, like Jared was, but um, that, that, that kid 
you know, when he's been waiting, he's been working, and, and he was ready, and um, he picked his teammates up. He didn't let him down, I can tell you that. Some kids do. You need them. They've given up because they're not playing, and they let the team down. Um, Carter has picked the team up. He's been he's been absolutely fantastic. I, I don't have enough good things to say about that kid. And I was concerned he got hit hard at home plate, and that, you know, I I, I held I held my breath there for a second. I was like, come on, man, get up. You know, we need you to get up. And uh, and, and then Carter got up and made a joke in typical Carter Perkins fashion, or he was yelling at the other team for saying something to him. So uh, I breathed a sigh of relief when when I saw that he was fine. So yeah, Carter Carter's been awesome. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.